Hey y'all, well it's Christmas and here is my tree. There's my bestie, his friend ball. And that beautiful uh, ornament that I got um, for church. This is when I went, remember last year when I vlogged and I went to Pigeon Forge. All these pretty little ornaments are very, very sentimental to me. So I had to put this tree up this year. All of these are so, especially like this one is like one of my favorite. And there's the other kind of matching one up there. And there's one somewhere else. Oh, there it is right there. It's to the cross. What, Delvin? And there's my husband. Say hi, husband. Hi, husband. <laughs> and Bree, as you can tell, wants to play. We got a fire going in the fireplace. And every year, um, the only thing I'm missing this year is some greenery back there, but I'm okay with it. We've got our little Luminera uh, candles. And I do need to put up two additional tacks. These don't normally hang on top of each other, these stockings. But these stockings were from my childhood, the little ones. That one was my little angel, of course. And this one was my sister's, and it was a Christmas tree and a reindeer. And then this was the girls. I think this one was Tiffany's. And that one uh, definitely was Michelle's because it has her name written on it in magic marker. <laughs> men anyway and then there was michael's the big blue one with the fuzzy this navy blue uh crushed velvet and then there's me and lance's but anyway so um this is the little oops sorry put my finger right in the wrong place this is our little collection of nutcrackers there's a singer lady one shopper singer lady and a guitarist because that's lance and it got started with this one i don't know if you can see it that well um because it was my um something my mom did. I'm going to turn another light on that might do better, but look at all the sparkle things. Look how pretty. I used these this year, y'all. These um, kind of tiger lily poinsettias with kind of a neutrally background. I thought it was really, really pretty. There's my um, nativity scene ornament for the year. I always get an ornament that has a nativity scene, so you'd think I'd have a hundred of those on the tree, right? My grandbabies, that's their little handprints. They make them into... Um, See, can you kind of see the little hand? Then they make them into snowmen. Mm. <laughs> and then there's a Merry Christmas ball because it has a, a little white fur coat. And uh, my husband's little, I love these um, glass, um, I think they're hand blown glass and hand painted ornaments. This one we got when we were in Poland, y'all. I love this one. It's got a little black sparkly um, bumper. And uh, this one my bestie got me for me because we traveled to both Rome and Paris and so she saw that. This is the most sentimental ornaments on the tree because a single mother ordered these for me and Lance and we got married. And um, the outside box has a name on it. It's in German. I can't remember the name, but um, it has 1999, which is the year of our marriage on the outside, burnt, burned into the box. And there's our little spitz ornament. Where is the ball, y'all? Oh, I see it. You, oh, that's not the ball. Bree, I don't know where it is, hon. Okay, so anyway, um, a lot of crosses on the tree, because that is what Christmas is about, is the birth of a Savior. Uh, lots of sentimental stuff. This ball right here is the first one ever on my parents' Christmas tree. And this one is an ornament my mother handmade, not long before she went to heaven. And then I love this Merry Christmas ball, because it just looks <laughs> old-fashioned. And I put a lot of berries, stuff in the bottom, and... Um, Stuff in a lot of poinsettias into the center of the tree. Again, here's another one of those kind of um, glitzy poinsettias. And I really love these um, these glitzy leaves. Yeah, I love glitzy on this tree. Look at this, y'all. Look at Velvet, how she just sits on Lance. <laughs> oh, and now you can see this better. She's my cuddle bunny. She is. She loves to cuddle. Yeah. Which Bree loves to play. There's our nutcrackers. A little shopping gal. See how she's got a little purse in her hand and jewelry and makeup. And see how he's got electric guitar. That's my husband to me. But this is the one my mom started all with. This little nutcracker. She started giving them to um, us. And one other thing. There's Michael's. And here's Lance's. And then this one my mom used to put little things on the top of presents. And that little um, gingerbread cookie was on top of one. And that little snowman. 
And they actually had a lot more, but I just could not get rid of the toppers, especially when she went to have them, you know, you want to save everything. And also she used to have a set of porcelain bells that hung, it was about six or eight of them, that hung like a mobile on our back door. And whenever you open the door, it would make the noise. But between a storm door and a solid wood door, I don't know how they didn't all break, but they actually broke years later, all but this one. This has a little church on it. So that is very prized possession. I have to tell the cleaning lady to be careful. Don't even clean. I can't even tell her don't even clean up here. But anyway, this is always about Jesus and his birth. And so um, I've got some of those little rice lights behind this nativity scene. If you'll notice when you look up from Jesus and look straight up, it's when God um, touched man through Christ. That's what it's about is that he saved us from ourselves. It's just all symbolic. We know that the, the baby Jesus is no more. The adult Jesus in the flesh is no more uh, because he's now back to sitting at the right hand of the Father. So anyway, that's my Christmas mantle. And um, Lance always likes when I do this. I wrap this in. Uh, actually, my sister is an incredible gift wrapper. She's always very, very creative. And this is that kind of metallic wire um, bow ribbon that she did a, around a present and we wrapped it around this little lamp and my boss gave me this hope sign and so i put the greenery that's normally on the mantle on either side of it and i was actually gonna kind of do a haul um there's another little christmas tree up there oh and then i always have to have these around so that people can put them on their heads and look silly along with this little santa cap that has the little cheetah on it. But anyway, I also wanted to show y'all a haul of what I just went and got for the puppies. This is when it starts snowing and we're hoping for snow. The, uh, this is velvet, so it looks like a little velvet, but it's a little baby polar bear, really. And then Bree loves to chase the squirrels, so this is her. She hates putting on a sweater, but when it's so cold that it's snowing, especially if it's actively snowing. Oh yeah, she smells the treats too. Uh, if it's actively snowing, then I do put a sweater on the babies when they go out because they, you know, the snow falls on their fur and gets them wet. If it's just been snowed, I love for them to go out and come back in because they smell so good when they come in. But that's their little sweaters. And then also, we got them some specialty treats. We got a little Christmas tree and a little snowman. So I'm going to see if I can open this all. Look at Christmas. Um, Velvet's little feather wreath, y'all. It's light as a feather, so it doesn't bother her. And it fits nice and loosely. There's probably about two, three inches in between. And it just looks like it blends in with her fur. Isn't it cute? They're both like, Mommy, quit talking and figure it out. I can't seem to get the... Would you undo that, darling? Since I have a camera in my hand. Aren't they just so, they can't figure out, is it me or is it him, is it me or is it him? So if you'll hand one out. Mm. Mm. That's mean, Lance. <laughs> um, 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 um. Lance, don't break the cookies. They have to be pretty. Who gets the snowman? Why don't they split one and have one tomorrow? That's just not right. I told them they could each have one. And they can hear what I'm saying. I think Bree wants the Christmas tree. And Velvet wants the... Yes. And they will take their... Look, watch y'all. And they'll go run off. Each one of them. Into another place. Which is just as well, because now I can show you. Even though my house is a mess, you guys. So don't, like, judge. But, um... I did want to also show you, now that I did my, um... Okay, I'm doing all my Christmas cards, so that's kind of messy looking. But I did get to do my Buffalo Check Woodland look in here. There's more Christmas card stuff. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. I highly recommend you guys go to Hobby Lobby. They're so wonderful. Uh, but I got something that looked kind of like fur. And then, of course, a Woodland scene with a moose. And then the Buffalo Check. This is a wreath my mother made. She put that sled in there herself. The only thing I added was the Merry Christmas sign. And that's just because... 
in the movie It's a Wonderful Life to have a Merry Christmas sign or a Merry Christmas wreath. Anyway, so I love that movie. We always have to start off um, Thanksgiving with watching Miracle on 34th Street because they have Macy's Day Parade on Thanksgiving. And then we watch It's a Wonderful Life because it just kind of starts off the season right. So um, there is an Angel Wings um, wall hanging that my boss gave me. She's so wonderful. And it's normally on the wall, but I had to move it. And um, so it's just sitting here temporarily. But um, anyway, so there's a moose. I also got a Hobby Lobby. I already had the Santa. And I hate to say, you guys, if you ask me where I got him, I don't know. He, see how you got the little uh, fur there? And he's got little fur on. So he's perfect for this. And I didn't ever have any idea that even the burlap um, Pottery Barn lamps would go. And see, I ended up last year putting in um, cinnamon scented um, pine cones in there. My husband likes the pine cones so much we didn't ever take them out. There's Birdie behind the tree. I can get back there every day and she likes having her little windows open and we put a little blanket on um, that side of the tree so she doesn't have any little accidents over there. And also I pull it over her cage at night to make sure she doesn't get too cold. But anyway, and then this is the uh, woodland tree in the family room. And y'all know that I'm very into the birdhouses. So this is um, one of the birdhouses. And I got um, all these ornaments and the um, tree skirt from Hobby Lobby. And, I mean, every one of these. There's nothing on this tree that isn't from them. So I don't think. I'll let you know. But uh, a lot of the buffalo, you see the little buffalo um, check bows and bell ornaments. All the ornaments have um, burlap. Um, what am I trying to say? The vine. The um, string. And I love that because it just kind of goes. And then there's burlap garland. And then if you'll notice, just because of this whole kind of woodland um, lodge, it comes from this over here that I made, um, Buchanan Hunting Lodge. I made that at board and brush and board, board and brush. And so we had another event there. And so I went and made this one for Christmas time. And I just feel like I want to leave that up after Christmas. So it just goes for all year long that we should adore him. But anyway, so I got buck ornaments because there's two bucks on the walls. And squirrel. And horn uh, noel. And a little raccoon. All these are supposed to be little woodland creatures. I, I love this little birdhouse because I'm very... Birdhouses are part of my decor, as you will soon see. Um, and redbirds or cardinals was one of my mom's favorites so whenever I see them I just it touches my heart so there's a lot of those on here my dad loves squirrels so that's kind of like my mom and dad it's like right there it's perfect but anyway um and then just some more burlap ornaments and burlap string and look how those are just little wooden sticks isn't that cool and look at this cross I love this cross y'all because it's like a little wooden cross and that's um, wreaths made of horns. Um, it's, there was comfort, peace, and I think the uh, last one said joy. But the little joy piece fell out, so I gotta fix that. That looked like an ornament that my mom would make. See that little trim on the sides? And she loves redbirds. So again, the little golden pine cones are all throughout the tree. There's some more of those little birch wood. And there's my only thing that's not actually a woodland um, critter is the little snowman, but I had to because he's got a birdhouse and he's got a burlap scarf on, so he just fits. And these mercury glass and burlap um, frosted pine cones, again, and they're on that kind of string, so it just everything just goes. There's another buckhead. Get it? I live close to buckhead. Not really close in Atlanta, Georgia, but that's as close as it gets. And then as you get to the top of the tree. Um, there's some more of those metal stars. I really like them. Um, you see these burlap birds, like kind of two partridges in a pear tree kind of a thing. See, there's one over here and one over here. And then at the top is one of the buffalo check bows. That's a pre-made bow, even though my bestie could have made me one. Just saved her the trouble. So there's, um, bows. I think there's like eight bows. Um, I can't remember how many of the bells. And then that's just kind of the look with the bird um, house. And then I already had these. I made these. They were at Pottery Barn for like, 
I don't know, 84 a piece on sale. And I found these um, vases at Pottery Barn for $14.99. And I went to Home Depot and got me some pebble um, 